Hello and welcome friends, welcome to a new and exciting episode where I review a vintage beautiful fountain pen. This time I have this wonderful Waterman Ideal in this beautiful red ripple finish. A wonderful fountain pen made out of ebonite and I present to you Waterman Ideal number 7, guys. So, if you are not familiarized with Waterman's, vintage Waterman's made in uh, USA, most of them have this number at the back of the barrel that uh, you can easily identify them. This beautiful, beautiful fountain pen has of course, other imprints that you can identify him. And we are talking about this wonderful, wonderful clip, which is a trademark of Waterman with this spherical ending. On it, we have engraved clip cap. We have this ideal logo with the spherical i'm not so sure maybe it represents the whole world the fact that this waterman idea was sold internationally another interesting characteristic of the waterman ideal number seven is this colored band you must know that this fountain pen was introduced in 1927 and this line or this colored band was corresponding to a specific nib and that nib was identified by the this color band over here and there were several colors it was the red color which meant you had a standard or a medium flex nib, the green band, which means you had a rigid nib, the pink band means you had a flexible fine nib, the purple, you, have a st you had a stiff fine nib, the yellow rounded or a ball type nib, brown, a fine nib, blue, a blunt or a stub nib, grey or oblique nib, and this black meant that we had a flexible medium nib. Of course there are other characteristics, so you can see that this black band is surrounded by two other small small white white bands. And you must know that this means it's from the second generation of Waterman's number seven. The first generations didn't have those two white, white bands that in a way highlight the, uh, the color of uh, the band. Quite, quite interesting. Other imprints we can see the set the again the logo ideal with that sphere with that shape of uh, our planet okay you can see the beautiful state of the gold trims yeah you you can tell that they were quite quite well executed just a little faded away on this level but it, it is um excusable because you know the system you have to pull off on this so this has so a lot of action from the early 1930s to our days this beautiful beautiful ebonite material those ripple effects they are amazing amazing guys and you you know what is more amazing the price i paid for this beautiful beautiful fountain pen i paid only 300 lace 
which means I paid 60.89 euros or 71.69 American dollars. A quite beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. And now I have reached the point where I have to show you. Um, well, but before I show you the beautiful nib, look at the breathing holes. One, two, three. So three breathing holes. And if we unscrew it, we can see first the beautiful ebonite, ebonite feed, and then the wonderful, wonderful Waterman's Ideal Registered US patent of, and I think it's a number four nib. Of course, due to the black band, we can say it's a flexible medium nib, but we will see how it writes when we will do the writing sample. But guys, I'm quite sorry. This fountain pen needs to be replaced. The sag needs to be replaced. And I will show it to you by gently trying to separate these parts. And I wanted to show you the fact that this is quite original. You can see at some point the original, or I shouldn't say the replacement sack, because I think during its lifetime it was uh, replaced. It faded away. The original, it is right here. I'm not so sure if you can see in this lighting, but I will try to give you a little zoom. If I can, of course, let me see. No, but you definitely can see that inside there, maybe if I can uh, push the lever, yes, to make some light, you definitely can see the old sack there. So this sack needs to be replaced. That's why when I will do the writing sample, I will just dip it in ink to see how flexible it is okay guys and uh, before i will sh uh, show you the dimensions of this fountain pen i've just remember a little detail on the bar on the barrel we can see thermically engraved watermans watermans registered us patent of made in us8 so made in united states of america uh, in the late 1920s and the beginning of the 1930s a wonderful wonderful fountain pen guys and just for a size reference i have on my desk a Mont Blanc 146 from the 1980s and if I put them side by side you can see that they are approximately the same same length of course I will leave the full dimensions of our Waterman ideal number seven on the screen and after that we will do the writing sample for the writing sample I will use this royal blue ink from Mont Blanc. I will just dip the fountain pen in ink. Before I will uh, start, I will change the angle of the camera. I will shake a little bit the bottle of ink. Okay, I hope I have a little tissue here. Yes, I have. This is the tissue. I will open it. So, first of all, let me secure this level filler. So, by unscrewing, I will open it. A few little dips in ink should do the trick. Not too much, of course. I will remove the excess of the ink because it's quite quite expensive I don't want to waste it <laughs> okay guys 
So this is it. Let me show you if I can post it. Yes, I can post it. I don't recommend posting it because in time it will leave micro scratches. So if you can, always use your fountain pen unkept. Okay, guys, now let me give you a little bit of zoom to see better. Yes. Here I have a waterman. Oh, maybe I need a little bit more of ink. Let me see. Yes, now it's too much. A waterman. Number seven. Okay, waterman, I should call it ideal. Okay. This was made in USA in approximately 1927 so starting from 1927 this is the version with the black black band it is surrounded by two other small white bands so i should call it a second second generation and the black band it means we have a Flexible, flexible, medium, gold nib, gold nib. I think we have a 14 karat gold nib. Okay, let me see now how flexible this really is. And we'll do the test. Yes, it is. It has a little bit of flex. Let me. Now you can see better. Yes, definitely a flex. So I can confirm the fact that we have a flexible, 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 medium name. So this is okay. Interesting the fact guys that uh, this particular Waterman number 7 doesn't have that key, uh, that breathing hole in the shape of a key. Instead we have a breathing hole in the shape of a heart. And yes, so it's a number 4 gold nib, I forgot to mention this, a number 4 gold nib. Let me see how juicy it is. Well, it's quite a juicy name. Okay, let me see if I can reverse write with it. Reverse writing. What can I say? I think it's a no because you can see, although it doesn't scratch it loses its ink flow so uh, definitely not a possibility the reverse writing i think it is a wonderful yes a wonderful signature fountain pen let me do also the pressure test maybe here for you to see better i'm sorry guys let me zoom on it yes okay now you can see so no pressure and now pressure interesting we don't have a line variance no line variance in the pressure test okay guys let me see i've done all the tests so flexible medium nib the reverse writing the juiciness i had done the signature yes i think it's time to tell you about the fox so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Whoa, guys, as you can see, we have a wonderful, a wonderful, wonderful writer. So I must tell you, the vintage watermans 
are among my favorite vintage vintage pieces especially those made in the usa with their fabulous fabulous gold nibs i think you can get yourself one for a decent price in comparison with other expensive vintage uh, fountain pens and guys believe me they have wonderful nibs in uh, the uh, if you if you search for a flexible or a light flexible nib you should definitely try a waterman thank you guys for your time thank you for watching this review of a wonderful wonderful waterman piece i want to wish you to have a nice day guys wherever you are if you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel to support my activity. I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, bye-bye and God bless.